A major shakeup in the United States Senate just days after Raphael Warnock won a full six year term representing the state of Georgia. That happened last Tuesday. On Friday, Arizona Senator Kirsten Sinema announcing that she is leaving the Democratic Party and will become an independent. Joining us now for more on what this means heading into 2024, former Georgia Congressman and Newsmax contributor Jack Kingston with us this morning. Congressman, good to see you. Good to see you, Rob. One, one lonely stocking on the mantle behind you. We need more. <laughs> <laughs> well, I, I do need more. You're right about that. Um, but the spirit is still here. Yes. So it's, it's okay. Absolutely. Um, Congressman, and, and I, I just, I, before we get into it, I just want to read you some reporting that Axios had. Uh, and I thought this was fascinating. Um, so Axios basically says that cinema's stunning decision to become an independent has triggered the possibility of a blue on purple civil war that could cost Democrats a must win seat in 2024. Why do you think Kirsten Cinema? really left the Democratic Party? Well, because I think she's a common sense solutionist, and that's not what the Democrat Party is about right now. They're about litmus test purists. And if, if you're not 100% with them on abortion or guns or climate control, then you're not welcome in the party anymore. She knows that her approval rating in Arizona in the, among Democrats is something like 37%. So she could not get through a primary anymore based on her voting record. Her best shot at reelection, therefore, is to become an independent. Um, I think if she did reach out to Republicans, we certainly would be interested in talking to her. But I think the first step would be for her to declare that she's going to caucus with the Republicans. And that would be a seismic shift. She has not done that, unfortunately. But I know that Mitch McConnell would welcome her to caucus with our team. Yeah. And look at Jeff Andrew, uh, member of Congress uh, in 2019. He's a Democrat. He says, you know what, I've had enough of this. Um, for a minute, it, it was, you know, he was maybe going to be an independent, going to caucus with Democrats. Nope, he's a Republican, um, and, and he, he's a full Republican now. So it does happen. But, but why do they always seem to caucus with Democrats when somebody leaves a party? They, they never caucus uh, I, with the Republicans. Why is it always that it, way? Uh, you know, it, it is frustrating because Angus King is an independent. Bernie Sanders is an independent. Right. They, they run on that label, but it's almost in, in name only. You know, if you look at where the Republican Party is right now, in 2020, we flipped 15 seats. 11, the, 11 of them were with women candidates. If you look at 2022, we have the most diverse freshman class that we've ever had. We, we picked up two African-American seats. We have a total of four in the House. And every one of those are in areas that are predominantly white. None of these uh, people ran, like Wesley Hunt um, did not run, John James did not run as activists, community uh, civil rights type leaders, the traditional old fashioned way of the Democrat Party. They ran as military veterans. They ran as educators. They ran as business people, which is what they are. And that's what the Republican Party is looking for. So um, when people like Kristen Sinema look around and say, well, what will it look like in 15 years? They know the best party is the Republican Party for right. a, a diversity of ideas. Big opportunity for Republicans in Arizona. Maybe Doug Ducey versus Kristen Sinema in, in 2024 for that, that Senate seat out there. I think it's going to be interesting. Congressman uh, Kevin McCarthy was back on Newsmax last night. Um, it, it, it seems like he's going to be Speaker of the House, uh, but it is not a slam dunk just yet. In about 30 seconds, can you explain to us how you think this plays out? I think the people who have been against him have not built the case. If they did build, the, if the case was there, it would have been built by now. There would be a real more of a grassroots conversation about it, a national movement. You're not seeing that. And the reason is, is because Kevin McCarthy has recruited more candidates, raised more money for candidates, and been in more districts than any other leader in the Republican Party. So there's no, uh, there's no case against him. Okay. What we need to do right now is stick together and do the things that Jamie Comer and Jim Jordan are talking about doing on investigations. We need to pass our own legislative agenda. We need to be a party of solutions. All right, Congressman Jack Kingston, hope to do it before the uh, Christmas holiday, 12 days away. Good to see you. Thank you, sir.